Well, damn, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, yeah. You far too kind. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in and let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, oh man, it's starting to fall apart over here and I am just tickled to death. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had Anna Kasparian having a straight meltdown calling you people idiots the left <laughs> what are we doing what are we doing what are we doing jake right. what are we doing what are we doing someone tell me what the f are we doing and now the co-host sank urgent this guy here i ugh, this guy i really despise this guy but he is starting to have a meltdown also now, it is bad, Biden. Biden, it is bad when this guy is asking for anybody except you. All we have is awful choices. So I'll end on, not a hopeful thing because it's not going to happen, but I'll tell you who, if they ran, I know they don't believe it. I know I can't get it through their, his thick head that this is true. But if Jon Stewart ran right now as a third party candidate, yes. he would win. He would flat out win. <laughs> this guy is asking for a comedian. He's asking for a comedian to come run for office to replace Joe Biden. How bad is that, guys? How bad is that? First, you wanted Michelle Obama. You wanted a housewife, somebody who never ran for office. Oh, she got a, a law degree, big whoop. Y'all was begging her, a housewife, to come out of the house and run for office. You have Kamala Harris, who is just so unlikable. She was a dud in the, the Democratic primary. She doesn't poll well with women or black voters. I mean, everybody just dislikes her. So who are they going to replace Biden with? Michelle Obama would be the perfect choice. She's incredibly likable. 60% of Americans see her favorably. Um, she is not seen as particularly polarizing. She has a kind of warm, inviting personality. And and she's a woman, and she would bring out that woman vote, especially among uh, college-educated suburban women. The Democrats. Joe Biden, how bad is that, sir? Lord have mercy. They ask for anybody. They ask for Oprah to come run for office. They want to replace you so bad, sir. And I thought y'all had confidence in this guy. I thought he's the only one that could be Donald Trump. Fair and square, right? This is unbelievable. They're asking for Jon Stewart to come because he's a witty and funny guy and he can run the country. Because I'd that's a guy him. who's honest. Uh, his positions are almost identical to the American people's positions. He's against corruption. Uh, he's a decent human being and he's smart. Oh my God. And he's funny. He's entertaining. People love people that are entertaining. Jon Stewart would win as a third party candidate. For God's sake, Jon, God damn it, do something. Don't leave us with these horrible options. This is the best you got, guys. <laughs> this is the best you got. Just begging anybody but Joe. Anybody but Joe. Even Chicago. Chicago got a chant right now.
Chicago is killing me. It's too late, Chicago. All my, all my melanated folks in Chicago, it's too late. You came to the party a little bit too late. You should have did this years ago. Now that the shit is in your front door, now you, you chanting anybody blue, whatever. It's too late. It's too late. Just welcome your new neighbors. Go over there and, you know, habla inglés. Do some rapport with them, you know. But it's too late, Chicago, New York, and all you other folks who don't want immigration. It's too late, especially if you're a liberal. We have a report here that New York is kind of regretting having a sanctuary city. And crimes committed by migrants. Has some wondering if bills signed into law that prevent the NYPD from cooperating with U.S. immigration and customs enforcement should be reconsidered. These sanctuary city policies are ridiculous. They're impeding our law enforcement, our officials, and by consequence, they're making all of us less safe. Now, we also have a problem here that the Young Turks has finally caught on what we've been saying for the longest, that the Democrat Party are anti-democracy. So, first, let me tell you the things I agree with. The headlines are wrong. He didn't say that Biden is definitely a bigger threat. He said he could make an argument for that. And you've got to be careful with that. And you know what the mainstream media loves to do. They love to smear anyone who's an outsider. So boom, they took that as an opportunity to do that. So he's right about that. Number two, uh, he's right to be concerned about Biden being a threat to democracy himself. Maybe not for the reasons that he's stating, but Biden did uh, you know, support anti-democratic movements uh, within the primary. Uh, the Democratic Party canceled the election in Florida. They try to keep out every candidate in North Carolina, Tennessee, etc. So they love to rig elections. Yes, I use the word rigged, okay? So you can go cry about it if you're mainstream media. How about you do your job and talk about how they canceled the election in Florida in the primary and just declared Biden the winner. So if you're gonna make the argument that you're a champion of democracy, you should probably try it in your own primaries. <laughs> well, damn. We've been saying this forever. And now they finally starting to see it because now they stuck with a candidate they don't like. And they try to run against him, but he rigged the elections. He probably rigged the big one also. But we can't say that because once I say that, Mr. YouTube is going to put a strike against me. So I got to be careful what I say. But the Young Turks already explained it. Okay, let's go. Trump isn't behind. He's right. ahead in every national poll. He's True. ahead in most battleground states. And if the election were held today, despite 91 indictments, four federal trials, he's still ahead. That says a lot. And the fact is that President Biden is hemorrhaging support among African-Americans, among young voters, among other voters of color. They're not excited about him. And then when you throw in the slew of independent candidates, RFK, Cornell West, Jill Stein, it doesn't look great for the president in terms of his path of winning the election. So and now they're starting to realize, it's starting to set in. They're starting to feel it now. They're starting to believe that Trump's going to win. Everybody, everybody, even the liberals are starting to see it now. Here on Earth, there were uh, presidential primaries in four states yesterday. Biden and Trump won the ball. But Trump, somehow the ghost of Nikki Haley continues to plague Trump like an undigested chalupa. He, <laughs> Haley got 13% uh, of the Republican vote in New York. More than 20% of Republicans in Wisconsin didn't vote for Trump. But not only is he still the front runner, according to a new Wall Street Journal poll, Trump leads Biden in Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada, North Carolina, and Pennsylvania, all important states, which just gives me a headache. How could this be? I mean, he doesn't even lead in a poll of people who worked for him. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor, hit the like Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. Tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right. Till next time, guys. I'll see you again. And all you knuckleheads, get off my lawn.